nothing gets you more excited than opening a box of corals. And now it's time to see what's in the box. The first thing I notice when I open my box are the cool packs, the foam peanuts, and the solid styrofoam container. The solid container is going to do an amazing job preventing not only heat from escaping the box, but it might also make the difference between your package being delivered or not if it's damaged in delivery and leaking water. The peanuts do a great job keeping the corals from banging around and shipping. Plus, they provide even more temperature control. Now, on to the corals. First, we have a TCK Crazy Red Plate. Recently, I'm seeing more plate coral frags popping up and I'm curious to see how this one looks in my tank. After that is the Marvin the Martian Acro, which if you've never seen one in person, looks amazing. It's stunning green and fuzzy as can be, an absolute must for any SPS guy. Next up is the Red Ferrari Acro, which has a very unique growth pattern. It's very similar to the classic Red Dragon Acro in shape and form, so I'm excited to see how it grows out. Here we have the TCK Red Bicolor Ghani, which will have red and purple parts once it's all grown out. I'm curious to see how much of the reds versus purples it has once it's grown out to a colony. No coral box would be complete without a torch, so why not a TCK Master Torch? It already has tentacles out in the bag, and that's what you can expect from a tank-grown torch. I'm sure it will be the centerpiece of my tank in no time. Super pumped about this one. This one is the OG Tyree Watermelon Chalice. Chalices are a quick, hearty way to add pop to your tank, and this one is an eye catcher for sure. Last up is the Jason Fox Fox Flame. No mixed reef tank or SPS tank is complete without this gorgeous classic. I'm kind of embarrassed I didn't have one until now. Now that I have them out of the box, let's take a second to do something that I like to do, and that's see what temperature they came in at. I'm cutting this bag open and it's kind of a pain, then I realized why. They're triple bagged. This is the pain that I enjoy. It means that the backup bag has a backup bag. Add this to the plastic cups inside protecting the inside, while the foam peanuts protect the outside, and you have top of the line packaging. Let's see what temperature we have, and 74.8 degrees. Fantastic temperature considering the bags have been out in my 73 degree house for about 30 minutes now due to, well, me shooting the unboxing video. Time to float the bags and acclimate the temperature. I normally let mine float for 30 to 45 minutes, but if I'm being honest, I sometimes get distracted and leave them for a couple hours. Definitely not forgetting on these beauties though. Time to put them in the tank. This is roughly two hours after being put in my tank, and let me say, wow, everything is already opening up nicely. I talked to Dan from TCK Corals about acclimation, and he mentioned that sometimes plate corals or ghanis can open slowly, but these are all out and looking gorgeous already. The SPS are looking fuzzy as can be. The watermelon chalice is simply stunning. The torch is already opening up, but then again, it was slightly open in the bag already. When you see them throwing those beautiful tentacles around, it's easy to see how they earned their name. And that about wraps up the unboxing of my TCK Coral shipment. The packaging was top notch and the corals were dang near identical to the pictures, so you know you're getting exactly what you buy and in great condition. Shop with confidence, I know I will.